Hello, this is Domenico with Easynomics, and today we're going to do practice calculations for income elasticity of demand utilizing the angle curve. We went over the angle curve in a previous video. We broke it down into three parts, understanding the negative value of the income elasticity of demand representing an inferior good. And then we looked at two types of normal goods, one being necessity, the other being a luxury. So I'm going to use the same examples here of market demand or household spending on cooking at home with low quality ingredients. Then there'll be another video calculation for cooking at home with higher quality ingredients. And in a third video, calculating uh, the household spending on dining in restaurants as a luxury good as a result of a change in income. So here we have a question that you might see on uh, paper three. Here it says, using information figure one, calculate the YED for an increase in income per month from $2,200 to $6,000. So income is rising per month over time. And we're trying to see what's the impact on household spending in, on cooking at home with low quality ingredients. Okay, so here we see that income is rising. And then we see that spending on the low quality ingredients to generate meals per month is decreasing. So there's a negative relationship here, right? We see that we're going from point A to point B and the two values are moving in opposite directions. Let's remember that in economics, this, the symbol for Y represents income. And YED, or income elasticity of demand, is measuring the change in household spending as a result of a change in income. So income elasticity, which is a formula you definitely need to know for your IB exams, is measuring the percent change in quantity demanded divided by the percent change in income. What is percent change? That's an additional formula that you absolutely need to know. This is measuring uh, change from one value to another. So we're going to take the final value minus the initial value divided by the initial value multiplied by 100. So on a test, you might want to make a note of what are those final initial values. So we're starting here. That's an initial value of 40 uh, meals per month going to the final value of seven meals per month. And here we have the initial income of 2,200 per month, and it's rising to the final income value of 6,000 meals per month. So you can pause the video now and calculate YED, and then we will check your work. So go ahead and pause the video now. All right, so let's check your calculations. So again, YED equals the percent change in the quantity demanded divided by the percent change in income. So let's first tackle the change in quantity. So percent change in the quantity demanded is equal to the final value of 7 minus the initial value of 40 divided by 40 multiplied by 100. So that will equal 7 minus 40, negative 33. So here we have the negative relationship between the two variables over 40, which will multiply by 100 in just a second. That's going to equal negative 0.825 multiplied by 100, and that will equal negative 82.5%. So here we see that the percent change here is 82.5%. So uh, the quantity of meals has decreased by 82.5%, all right? So that is the value of the change in the quantity. Okay, so here we have half of the formula for YED. 
Now let's calculate the other half. Let's calculate now the change in income. Okay, so now we're going to address this component of the of the formula. So percent change in income. So our final value for income is six thousand. Final minus the initial of 2,200, 2,200 divided by the initial 2,200. That equals the difference 6,000 minus 2,200 is 3,800 divided by 2,200. That equals 1.72 repeating and we'll multiply that by 100. So all of that works out to 172.72 repeating percent. So again, here we see that this is the value of the percent change in income. So here we have the other half of the formula. So right here, the change in income is 100. 72.72 72 repeating percent. Incomes have increased almost by 200%, while the quantity of expenditure has decreased by 82.5%. So now let's put the two together to see what is the YED value. So YED is going to equal percent change in quantity, which is negative 82.5 divided by 172.72 repeating, 172.72 repeating. These are percentages, fine. And that works out to negative 0 0.477. And on an exam, they will ask you, to state numerical answers uh, exactly or correct to two decimal places. So we'll say that this is negative 0 0.48. So there is our final answer. YED equals negative 0 0.8. All right, again, YED is equal to that. So YED equals negative 0 0.8. 48. What does that mean? That's negative 0 0.8 over 1. So for every 1% change in income, the incomes go up by 1%, then the demand for the good will decrease by 0.48%. So since there's this negative relationship between income and spending, what type of good is this? We need to state it is an inferior good. people will switch away from consuming this good as their incomes rise, or if their incomes were to fall, there'd be an increase in demand. Again, a negative relationship. It is an inferior good. If you have any questions, feel free to comment those questions below, and don't forget to subscribe and like. The next video, we'll can do another calculation with the angle curve. We'll look at a normal good that is a necessity. And that's it. Thank you so much.